So this revision video is on adaptations of the ileum for absorption. So there are three uh, revision questions I'd like you to do. First is recall fixed law. And I think that's really useful for you to be able to recall across the whole of unit three, it's applicable. So it's really good if you can just have this to memory because it's a really useful hook to remember those features of exchange surfaces that are important. Two, I've provided you with, the, you with the diagram. I've given you some key features of the ileum in purple that I want you to relate to fixed law and so decide how they are important for each of those factors in fixed law to enhance the rate of absorption and diffusion. And then finally, I want you to consider another factor that might determine the rate of exchange in epithelial cells across the ileum. So pause and test yourself on that, and then we will go through the answers. Okay, so fixed law. This is the equation. The rate of diffusion is proportional to the surface area of the exchange surface multiplied by the difference in concentration. We sometimes refer to that as the uh, diffusion gradient divided by the length of the diffusion path. So let's look at part two. What should you have identified? Let's start with surface area. So we want to obviously have a large surface area. How does the ileum achieve this? It has villi, you should have identified that, those protrusions from the ileum wall, so they can be about a millimetre in length. And then the cells that make up the villi, the epithelial cells, have microvilli, so those protrusions of the cell membrane of the epithelial cells. So those two things provide a large surface area. Next, Difference in concentration. How is that diffusion gradient maintained? You should have identified that there are capillaries. So this mass transport system continually moving blood through the ileum so that you're continually creating that difference in concentration between the lumen of the ileum, the cell and the blood. You should have identified the lacteal of the lymphatic vessels, that's obviously also moving away substances, transporting away chylomicrons specifically, maintaining that diffusion gradient. And then also smooth muscle. So the reason for the smooth muscle you should have written down is that it contracts and it mixes the uh, solution in the lumen of the ileum and so it by contracting and continually circulating the solution in the ileum it means that there is a constant cycling of molecules close to the epithelial cells so it's maintaining that difference in concentration by circulating those molecules finally length of diffusion path. So what you should have identified is that the uh, ileum is just made of this single epithelial cell layer. So it's just one cell thick. So there's a short diffusion path from the lumen of the ileum into the blood. Okay, so they're the key features. So you want a large surface area, a large difference in concentration to maintain that, and then a short diffusion distance. And all those factors come together to maximize the rate of diffusion. Uh, we also might say absorption as well, because not all substances are diffusing. Um, obviously glucose is co-transported. Three, so in addition to fixed law, in addition to those three factors we've looked at, what else might be important in determining the rate of diffusion or absorption? 
and I've specifically uh, mentioned epithelial cells. Well, what's allowing these substances to diffuse in or to be transported in? They are the carrier proteins. So the number of carrier proteins in the membrane will obviously be a limiting factor for the amount of substances that can be transported across. So it's just good to keep that, that, that in mind um, as, a, as an additional factor. Okay, so that's absorption in the ileum and uh, adaptations that the ileum has to maximise absorption.